Hi, this is Shana and I am back from my travelings. Sorry I didn't post so many videos uh, as I was intending to, but it wasn't possible. But now I'm back and we have a new pick a card reading. This on the theme, you and them, thoughts, feelings, actions and also future energies and also advice. And I got myself two new decks. I have here the Chiro Machetti's Gilded Riviera Lenomart Expanded Edition and I have the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed and um, I'll also be using this one that you already know probably the Whispers of Love and by um, Angela Hartfield sorry yeah so really beautiful and um, I got the cards and the decks uh, yesterday and I was playing with them and trying them out and I tried a spread that I've already used in one of my earlier um, videos and I think the cards they match so well that I decided to use them for this reading as well so I think you'll see what I mean when we do the spreads and we have three possibilities we have for pile number one here the blue and white uh, shell and we have the Jacob's shell here and we have a black sardine very artistic right if the objects distract you I invite you to close your eyes and I'll repeat the number of the tile of the tiles of the um, piles and uh, think of the person you want to inquire about and you know just have the feeling what your what your heart answers to to what number or to what object your heart answers to so i'll invite you to close your eyes and i'll repeat the number of the piles so pile number one pile number two pile number three and you can take your time to choose your pile. You can pause the video if you like, but we're starting now with pile number one. So hello to all of you who chose pile number one with a beautiful shell from Brazil, so I was told. And of course it has been worked on. As you can see, it's really, really beautiful. So I'll put it back there. I hope we have enough space. This is a new layout, but let's see. So first of all, we're going to see what is the situation between you. And the first card we have is the end spirit, time to collaborate. So this already indicates a kind of partnership. It could also be that some of you do work together like be it at really at a workplace, be it at a project, a hobby, or even like teaching. You can be the teacher or you can be the student, but you are working together. Like that's for some of you. For uh, others of you, and um, also included in the first uh, group I was uh, talking about. So um, it's like there's this beginning here. We also have number one. There's a beginning could be of a relationship or a friendship. Of It's a connection that's starting now, right? And it's time to collaborate. And this word, I find that's really nice. It's like, it's also saying it's time to open up and let other people in and start to create your own dreams, create your own projects and accepting help from other people, being open to accept other people in your life and to create something beautiful. Uh, be it a project, be it in this case that I really tend to think it's the beginning of a relationship, something beautiful starting right now. And the second card is the ring. Oh, it's a beautiful card. Sorry about the glare, but I'll try to avoid it. Um, so we have the ring. So the ring is all about commitment. It can also be business-wise, like we said first, but usually it's about love. This is a love card. It's about a commitment. It's about a contract. 
it's about going steady with someone, you know, having a real partnership. So this is the theme and the starting point of this um, of this spread. So either you just started a relationship with this person, so everything is quite new, or, you know, th this is the energy in the year. So you also feel this and the other person as well, because it's the general theme. So both of you can feel this, you know, there's relationship potential here. There's commitment potential here. So either you're starting this relationship now, it's quite new or, or you may feel for some of you, I just got this feeling uh, for some of you is uh, you're already in this relationship with this person, but you're feeling that, the commitment, a further commitment, you know, be it an engagement, be a marriage, be it even, you know, having a child, right? Which is a lot of commitment there. It's beautiful. So the potential is here. So the potential for the next step is here. And this is a beautiful, um, beautiful energy to start from. But let's see what the other cards say. So we put them up there. So the next step is what are your thoughts about the other person, the person you're asking about and uh, about the situation. So this is about you. What are you thinking about the situation and the other person? So the first card here is uh, Canary Spirit. Sing your own song. Now, and we have number 12, one and two, you know, if we add them together, it's three. So it's three is the number of creativity, right? Or even the number of children of starting a family. But the, and we have the, the, the bird singing and we have a flute. So it's all about creativity. But what this card is really talking about is you being yourself, right? That. And you actually, your thoughts are about on you being yourself, on you showing yourself how you really are, right? And the other card is the book. Well, the book, because it's a closed book, right? So this closed book is, um, is a mystery. Now, there are two possibilities here, and they do not exclude one another. So for some of you, it will be one of the possibilities or the other, but for some of you, I have the feeling it's both, right? And so what am I talking about? Let's go. Some of you, and I think it's the majority of you, you are afraid of showing who you really are. You are afraid of letting the other person know who you really are. And, and it's something to do with hurt, right? Of a fear of not being accepted, of not being loved for who you really are. And, but this card, this canary is saying, you know, you can only ex experience love if you show who you are and you should show who you are, because if you're not loved for, for who you really are, then you're not being loved at all. And the cards are encouraging you to open the book, to show who you really are, to show the wonderful person, the creative person you are. You know, it can be that you, I was going to say very special, that you are very special, but it sounds strange. Uh, but it may, you may be quite unique in, the, in your way of thinking, in your way of living your life. You can be quite original. And some of the experiences you've probably had in the past is that, um, this is probably not so well accepted or not so well understood by many people. So you're afraid of showing this. So this is something that is actually in your mind. Should I show myself all my beautiful colors? Should I sing my song in my beautiful song? Should I show who I really am? So, but you're still, you know, holding the cards close to your chest, you know, like it's, it's still like feeling the vibe of the situation of the relationship. Now, the second possibility for some of you, I also have the feeling, but it's like a minority, but still it's like the other person is a closed book to you. And like I said, these two possibilities do not exclude themselves, you know, like they do not exclude the other one. It could be that you're holding the cards to your chest, but you have the feeling the other person is doing the same. It's like you're seeing the, the situation and the other person as a closed book. It cannot really 
look into the person or into the situation is still a big mystery to you and you'd like to encourage the other person to sing his or her own song you know be yourself show yourself to me show me your feelings but I have really the feeling that some of you are really a bit you know suspicious and a bit scared um, about showing your uh, true colors about showing who you really are but I'm telling you here from what I'm getting of the energy of the first group you have nothing to worry about because I'm getting such a beautiful vibe from these cards so what you are is beautiful and you should show yourself really because there's nothing not to like about you there's only plenty to love and let's put the cards here and let's see what the other person is thinking. What are they thinking about the situation and about you? The first card we're getting is watch your words. Now, the first impression when I got the card, uh, because I prepared them earlier in order to prepare all of this. But what the first impression when I got this card was, um, you know, like is someone being rude. Well, it could be that there are some differences in the communication but actually the card is talking to the person itself it's like this person that you're inquiring about has a lot of self-defeating thoughts like negative thoughts you know that put uh, him or her down and um, and this person is really trying to be positive you know to create another reality and we have the number nine. So the number nine is also a number of contemplation, is a number of getting higher wisdom. So this person is really observing the way he or she um, communicates, right? The way they communicate, the way they're talking to themselves, because it can be this, this person talks uh, him or herself down the whole time, you know. And uh, so they carefully also being careful with their words because they don't want to make a fool of themselves. They don't want to upset you. And this is why you probably have the feeling as well that this person is a closed book. This person is not being um, him or herself, right? And uh, But they're being very careful because just like you probably have, you know, they also um, don't want to upset the situation, don't want to upset you. They also quite um, they're worried about making the wrong impression, and this is very important to them because we have the anchor. So their thoughts about the situation is something right, really solid. So they really want to have a strong fiber foundation. They have a lot of hope for the situation. They want a strong foundation with you. They want to build something solid, something they can hold on to, and. Uh, their intentions are really, really serious. They want something solid, something beautiful, something that has meaning and something that will last throughout the ages, right? Like the anchor does. And that's something that will also bring them down to earth, something that um, is tangible, something that is real. So this is how they see the situation. It has the potential of making it being something real and being something meaningful. And that's why they're very careful with their words, being words towards you or also even words towards them. They're trying not to self-sabotage uh, self the situation, right? So they're trying to make everything as perfect as possible so that this foundation can be built. Now, Let's go to feelings. Let's start with you. What are your feelings? Now, here we have the lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. And this is an 11. 3 plus 8 is 11. So, this is a very, very powerful card. Not only because of the, of the 11, but uh, also because this is allowing your dreams to come true. This is a card of allowing. This is a card of opening up. This is a card of allowing that, yes, you deserve happiness. The, um, accepting that you deserve happiness. This is a card of allowing love to come into your life. This is a card that's saying, yes, you deserve it. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can create it. So it's very positive and very, very powerful. And it's supported by the park or the garden, depending on the interpretations. 
Now, this card has to do with the um, with public. It's a public place, it's a public park, so it has to do with dates, meeting people in public places. Um, so you probably, you know, developing these feelings while dating this person or you're wishing to date this person, but you're also getting used to the idea. There's something that you want to have, you know, um, a commitment to this person, but something that is official, that is public, that everyone knows about, right? And this is a wish of you. But you also, for some of you, is something that you really want to create a beautiful relationship with this person and for it to be official, to be public. And um, But for some others of you, the feeling that I'm getting is you're slowly allowing this into your heart. You're slowly opening yourself to this possibility because as much as you want a relationship, I have the feeling that for you who chose pile one, you were a bit fearful of uh, relationships. Um, you may have been hurt in the past. You may have uh, had um, not so positive experiences. And although you really, um, really want it in your life, right? You yearn for it. You really want it. But there's a blockage in your heart somehow, not a block in a very negative sense. You're a bit careful. Careful would be the right word here. And that's why here, like, this would make even more sense in your thoughts. Should I open myself? Like, should I open myself up to the situation? Can I really show my true colors? Although you want to, you want to be loved for everything that you are. And everything that you are is just beautiful. But you're still a bit guarded. And uh, also here in your feelings, you want this relationship. You want something beautiful. Uh, but I have the feeling that healing is taking place right now, that you're slowly allowing it to happen. You're slowly allowing it to be. And this is really beautiful. And, um, and you want everyone to see. That's what I'm getting now. You want everyone to see how beautiful this development is taking. And you want it to be official as well. But you're slowly allowing it, you know, you're slowly opening up your heart. And as you can see here, let's see if I can focus this, you know, also here, this is open, right? This is this open door. So you you're, you have the way there and there's an open door to those beautiful flowers. So there's a way to go, but it's not very far away, right? And we have the water here is healing. You have the white peacock, a very rare birds, and the doves of peace. So all these symbols are quite positive, and you're just opening yourself up to love. You're opening yourself to this situation. Now, what are they feeling, right? Now, we have porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. And, of course, if you have porcupine, you, you think, oh, my God, you know, he's protecting himself. He has all this. And, well, the thing is, not really. And because you hear, have here time for beginner mind. So I think you guys, you mirror each other because this person is also a bit uh, wary. You know, it's like a bit careful. And this card is saying that this person is also opening up. To love is opening up to this possibility of uh, experiencing something beautiful or having a beautiful relationship. So because the porcupine spirit says, you know, open up to new possibilities, especially to new relationships and oh, be curious, be playful, be joyful and light. And this is what we have here and makes sense to their thoughts, you know, because they have self-defeating thoughts like negative and heavy thoughts like, do I deserve love? This is too good to be true and so on. And here the feelings is like, but I should open myself to this. This is so beautiful. I should be curious. Maybe it's different this time. So you kind of mirror each other because I have the feeling both of you, you have been hurt in the past. So that's why you're very careful. But the overall energy is fantastic. And then we have the storage and the couple, right? So they're ready for a new beginning. It's just like beginning, beginning. Their heart is ready 
for a new beginning. This is about, you know, new beginnings. This is about having babies. This is about family. This is about starting something meaningful again. So their heart, um, is, their heart is open. It's opening up as well to this relationship. But it's opening up in joy, in in curiosity and just wanting to experience and to discover and to explore so it's a really really beautiful and also very powerful feeling here so but how are you acting towards each other so let's start with you how are you acting in this situation and towards this person so here we have chameleon spirit act as if right so here you <laughs> You are saying yes to the situation, right? You you like opening up to the situation. You are adapting to the situation because you are used to be guarded. You are used uh, to protect yourself. You have your barriers up usually the whole time, which is understandable because if you have been hurt in the past, you wouldn't like to repeat the experience. So you guard yourself, you protect yourself. So it's quite understandable. But you've under you're going through a process where you're now understanding that you have to open up in order to experience love. Because if you keep your barriers up, it's very difficult to receive and to give love in a true and healthy uh, way, right? And uh, so it's not that you're being a fake or pretending to be, because this, uh, when we read act as if that would be probably the first impression we get. The thing is, what you're saying is uh, adapt to this situation, you know, adapt to this because you're feeling a bit unsure because it's like uncharted territory. It's like, oh, you don't feel at ease because you don't know how to behave. You don't know what to say. You know, you don't feel that safe because your heart is still opening up, right? And in this phase, so you, you don't know how, if you're going to get hurt or not. So you feel a bit insecure. But the chameleon is just saying, roll with it. You know, be the colors that are presented to you. You know, play the game, dance the dance. Be in that moment and just adapt to the circumstances as they show up. Just play along and sing your song. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. And then we have this. So we have this, uh, the way. And uh, so here is like two opportunities. So you're adapting to the situation. You're playing along, but it's, it's still deciding so the way you're acting to this person is still undecisive you know you still don't know you're not showing that you are fully committed to the situation and there's no judgment here because you, you take the time that you need but this is how you're acting right now you know you're adapting to the situation you're playing along but you're giving the impression that you're still not fully committed you're still weighing your options and you probably have other options as well other people interested in you or you interested in other people so this is how you're acting in this situation and towards that person you know you're playing along you're curious about it you want to see what the situation has to offer but you're still weighing your options. You're still, you know, analyzing the situation. So you're not 100% committed. And there's no judgment here. It's the way it is, and it's okay. Now, let's put it here. Let's see how the other person is acting in this situation. Oops, I let the card just fell. Sorry. So here we have Whale Spirit. Trust the Great Mystery. And it's a beautiful, beautiful card. And so this person is showing a lot of trust. This person is trusting and going with the dice and uh, just letting it roll and flow. And this person is really diving into this situation, really wants to take a plunge into a relationship with you this person is showing a lot of trust a lot of optimism a lot of hope as well and this is then confirmed by this card here and this is the dog so the way this person behaves is of really like a loyal friend is uh is the best friend you can have 
and uh, this person is very loyal to you is uh, as a friend that will always be there for you so if you're still not in a relationship this person is uh, behaving as your best friend and this person is your best friend and will always be there for you you call and they'll be there so and they're very hopeful as well they really want to be around you the whole time they want to be around you. They want to be, they're very supportive of you and your ideas or projects or dreams. They'll do anything for you. And they're very trustful and trustworthy. So they're, they're really like the best friend you can have. So wonderful friend. And they want more than just friendship. We've established that. And, um, and if you're in a relationship or starting the relationship, this person is incredibly loyal, is incredibly faithful, and this person will always do everything and anything for you. And that's nice to know, right? Now, what is the future energies, like the probable future of this relationship? So, and we have the nightingale spirit. Love is all around. So this is a really positive card and shows that, you know, actually you are able, you are safe in this situation. It shows that you are safe, that you've gone through a lot in your life. You've got, gone through a period of darkness, but now you're safe to open up with this person. You can open up and this person can open up with you as well. So it's a safe situation and it's a very, very loving situation. It's a very accepting situation. It's like unconditional love, like the dog here. The dog symbolizes unconditional love as well. So because from the cards we've seen, both of you, you have gone through some some difficult situations that have hurt you in the past. But this situation can heal a lot of those hurts, can heal a lot of those wounds. And suddenly love just starts flowing from your heart, from all of your being. And this is a very, very loving situation. And it's like saying love triumphs. It's the love triumph at the end of the story, so to say. And uh, so this energy is real, really positive. And then, wait, as... Uh, then confirmed by this card here, this is the Clover card. And Clover is all about happiness and love and passion and luck as well. So this is a very lucky relationship. Being with this person will bring you a lot of luck, a lot of happy coincidences and a lot of love and passion and friendship and a lot of happiness. This card is all about happiness, about joy, about light feelings and, uh, you know, feeling light as a bird and singing full. You, you, this relationship will bring you a singing heart. That's what I'm getting right now is the feeling that I'm getting. And it's like a weight is lifted from uh, your shoulders, from of your heart. You know, all this weight that you've been carrying in your heart, like past hearts, like I was saying, that will be lifted, that will be healed. And then you start opening up your heart again, not only to this person, but also to the world around you and living and being alive and relating to other human beings will become a lot easier. So this person has a, a great healing effect on you and vice versa, you also have a great healing effect on this person. So it's this really, really positive message. It's really beautiful. And now at the end, we have advice. And the advice is focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. So this is very important because as we are saying earlier, you were a bit suspicious, you know, can I trust can I uh, really open uh, open myself up to this person? Can I open my heart? You know, uh, is it better to hide? You know, and go to the to what is known to me, to what I know, because you're feeling a bit insecure in this situation. It's almost too good to be true, right? But this card is saying, focus on love. You know, really look to the other person and see what is lovable about them what is beautiful about them what are the things you're doing for you what are their behavior and so on so look for love look for the loving behavior 
this person is having towards you. So you can start feeling safer, you can start to relax, and then slowly open up as well. But I have to say, it's not a but, it's an end. Um, this relationship is really, really positive. This relationship is has so much love, so much friendship, so much... Mm -hmm. Sorry, we got caught, um, cut off there. But as I was saying, this relationship has so much going on for it. Um, it's just so, so beautiful. And um, if you're wondering if you should give it a chance, um, my feeling is yes. And uh, the odds are beautiful. And the future energies are very, very, very positive. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, thank you so much to all that comment, like, and watch my videos and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. And I wish you a lot of love. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone who chose pile number two. This is the shell, the jack of shell. So we're starting with the reading. We're putting it here. There you go. So you and them, thoughts, feelings, actions, and future energies. So let's start with your situation, the overall situation, right? So we have the B spirit, sweet results await. So this is a very promising energy. So there's something very positive going on and there's a manifestation already taking place of something really good, something very positive. And even if you're very unsure right now or insecure, this is like a promise that everything is even better than you think. And then we have the letter. Sorry about the glare, I'll try to avoid it. So we have the letter and uh, so this is all about communication, very promising communication. And so you're communicating with the other person, the other person is also sending you messages and it's very promising. So it's very loving, It's um, it can indicate a probable future together. It's something building up through communication right now. It can also be because you're communicating via, I don't know, like messages or emails or even romantic letters like uh, it used to be. Um, it can be that you are away from each other, that you're far away from each other and you cannot communicate face to face. But this is very promising. So it's if a long distance a relationship or a long distance connection. This is quite promising. So there's communication taking place. So. We'll put the cards here. Now, let's see your thoughts about the situation and about the other person. First, we have Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Now, this card is telling you that right now you're trying to listen to your intuition, right? Is that you feel like you don't have all the facts, that you don't know everything about the situation. So, and that's why you're here and watching this reading, because um, you want to know more. And the card is also telling you to listen to your intuition and to weigh the pros and cons, to really see what is best for you in the situation. And this is confirmed by this card here. And this is you, your beautiful you. And it's funnily enough, the, the woman has uh, uh, her hand on her heart kind of thing and throat. So it's actually, um, you're trying to be as true to yourself as possible. You're trying to feel what is right for you in the situation. If this situation is even right for you. And if this person is the right one for you, and if the development of the situation is something that is positive for you, right? But let's see what the other person is thinking about the situation and about you as well. So here we have Flamingo Spirit, Embrace the In-Between. 
So this person is just like you, like a bit in the dark. This person doesn't know how everything is going to develop. But this person is quite optimistic. This person feels comfortable. And, you know, with the, the, um, the information they have, they are, are already making plans of a future. So they see the situation is very promising. They're, um, even if everything is not... Uh, settled is not a commitment yet. I, I have the feeling that for most of you, the situation is not completely tangible. Um, but they feel comfortable with the situation. They find it very promising, very positive, and they're very curious about it. And they want to see how it's going to further develop. So they want it to develop further. Then we have the ship. So the ship is all about travel. Um, so like I said earlier, so it can be because you're like texting each other, sending each other messages or even letters, um, postcards, that would be nice. So it can be that this person is traveling or is far away from you. And this person is thinking about taking a trip to meet you, taking a trip to for you to be together. So there's something they're considering. They're like considering taking a trip, even having a holiday together. And this also, like I said, symbolizes that they're far away from you or they will be traveling in the future. But I have the feeling that what they're considering is taking a trip to see you um, and, you know, meeting up with you, being closer to you. And then what are you feeling in this situation? Here we have stack spirit, take the lead. So... Here you have the feeling that you have to take the lead. Here, there's uh, that you want to be brave enough, you know, to jump into the situation. You want to be brave, brave enough to tell the other person what you want. So you're gathering your strength as well and your courage to take the lead and uh, show the direction or um, of this relationship, you know, just lead the way of this relationship and to say what you want, what you'd like to have. So it's a really positive card. It's a self-empowerment card. It's also a feeling that you're starting to know more and more what you want. You're starting to know more and more what makes you feel happy, what is right for you. And this is goes along with the thoughts. You're kind of you know, thinking about what is best for you, listening to your situation. And you're also now discovering on an emotional level your own worth, that you deserve love, that you are lovable, that you deserve to be happy. And this is what you want from this relationship. And you're ready to take the lead to make it happen, to make your dreams come true, to be loving and loved by someone you find worthy of you, that you find wonderful. And this is then, here we have, here we have like the, the fish. This is supported then by the fish. The fish is all about, again, intuition. We have a lot of water, but usually it's about money. It's about uh, being resourceful. It's about being um, um, wealthy. But here, wealthy in emotions as well. So you have a lot of emotions. And again, it's self-worth. You're discovering your self-worth. You're discovering that you are deserving of love. You're deserving of being taken care of. You're deserving of having, of being rich when it comes to love, right? You can also that you find out that you deserve to be rich as well, which is wonderful. Uh, but in this case, it's like they deserve to be loved. And you have such a, a well of emotions and feelings and your emotional life is so rich you have so much to give so much love and care to give and you're ready to give it but now you're self uh, empowered you know you want to do it your way you want to lead this relationship to something that is really worthy of you into something that is worth of your time worthy of your time and uh, and you're really ready to make it happen and to, like I said to take the lead but what is the other person feeling so here we have frog spirit clear out the clutter I don't know what what is the problem with my camera now there you go so clear out the clutter so this person wants 
to get rid of everything that doesn't serve them. This person wants clarity in their lives, in their hearts. So it can be that at the moment, you know, they're a bit confused or they feel that's um, too much unknown, too much uncertainty, and they want to clear out their heart, their emotions. They want to know what they can count on, if they can count on you, if um, this is something they can build on, this is something that is trustworthy, right? This is something that uh, is clear, you know, they want a clear feeling, they want a clear message. And the card supporting this is uh, the birds, in this case, the owls. The owls are the symbol of wisdom. And the birds, again, it's all about communication. This reading has a lot of communication in it, as we can see. So what they want, they, they want clear communication. And they also want to be able to clear um, communicate with you or to communicate in a clear way, right? So I think they're feeling that there's a need of clearing emotions, of getting a clear message across and they want also a clear message from you in order to know again if uh, they can trust you if they can uh, count on you and um, because I have the feeling because of the cards we just got a lot of your communication is like written communication is not really um, body communication you know like body, body language and so on and so they have to rely on this verbal or written communication and they want it as clear as possible so they can know how to deal with it right so this declutter is not really like um, clear you out of their lives it's more clear the negative vibes and the confusion so what they want is to clear misunderstandings that it can be that in your relationship there have been some misunderstandings because sometimes when we write messages the message doesn't come across as clearly as when we talk but um and they want they're a bit uncertain um a bit insecure that's what i say so like they have the feeling that the communication has to be clearer so there are no misunderstandings so they want to get rid of misunderstandings between you two and so how are you acting in this relationship? Sorry, there you go. How are you acting in this relationship towards the relationship and also towards this person? And then we have lost spirit. Sometimes life stings. So the way you are acting right now is a bit disappointed. A disappointed at the other person because... Um, you have the feeling that the relationship is not heading in the way that you desire. And you've been thinking about, like we said earlier, let me just focus this again. Like we said earlier about your own worth, about what you want from the relationship, about what is good for you. And you have the feeling that this is not going uh, the way you want it. So the communication is not working the way you want it. And this is hurting you. And this is, uh, you're feeling disappointed. And the card that comes with it is the ring. And so there are two possible things happening here. One of them is that some of you are in, already in another relationship. That's hence the ring, right? Um, and this hurts you because you met this other person, maybe even in a, on a holiday uh, while traveling. And you feel so, so attracted to the other person. It's like to, you'd rather be now with this person, but you're still in a relationship. You're still, you know, uh, connected to another person. So in, you cannot move freely as you would like. And you cannot free yourself from, from that relationship as soon as you would like. And this really is just like a, a, a sting, right? So it hurts you and you... And you act disappointed, you know, towards your situation. 
and uh, and maybe for others of you you want more commitment from this other person and because it's not the things are not moving as fast and as tangible as you'd like you are a bit disappointed right you're a bit disappointed with the person with the situation because what you want is commitment and for some of you it will even be both situations at once it can be and uh, so you're a bit disappointed but what the card says as well you know even if it disappoints you now it always takes you to a better situation so don't be so let down about the situation because it will be better it will open another door which you're not able to see right now but it's opening other doors other possibilities for this that you want right so but this is how you're acting and uh, and how you're reacting to the situation you're in. It's nothing negative. It's just the way it is at the moment. But it doesn't stay like this forever. Now, what about the other person? How is the other person acting in the situation? Very lovingly. Here we have the nightingale spirit. Love is all around. So this person is very loving, uh, very supportive. This person supports you through your heart, the hard time that you're probably having, especially if you're in another in another relationship. You, they're supporting this. They're very understanding, and it's like they're calling you, like you know, they're serenading you. I would see it like this, you know, they're serenading you. They're writing you beautiful messages. And let's see the other card, because speaking about messages, the other card is this one, is the, uh, the, the rider. And this always brings messages. This is the messenger. And so this person is sending you beautiful messages, loving messages, love messages. So this person is just um, spoiling you and serenading you and seducing you with beautiful messages. So this person just, this person really, really loves you and just wants um, positive, you know, like more, a clearer communication between you because they're willing, they're really willing to start something with you, right? They're really planning it. And even if it's far away, they're, they're willing to go all the way to you to send you messages. So you're in their heart and mind the whole time. So what are the future messages, the future messages, the future energies for this relationship? We have the koala spirit. Maybe the person is in Australia. Um, if for some of you, the, the person you're asking about is in Australia, oh, please leave a comment because that would be really nice. Um, the koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. Now, things will move slowly. Koala is not known for being very fast, as you probably know. And 3 plus 5 gives an 8. 8 is the, the, the number of eternity, right? And so... It, it won't take an eternity, but the card is telling you, move slow. Allow things to unfold the way you desire. Don't rush into things. Because in your heart, let me, this, in your heart, you want to take the lead and speed up things, you know. But the koala is telling you, you know, take your time to enjoy the view and to get the big picture and see everything that is happening around you because then you'll notice that when you're patient and you allow things to unfold, everything will fall into place the way you want. So this message is very, very positive. Things will unfold the way you desire, but it will just require some time. So just do everything you um, you should do, you know, take care of yourself, listen to yourself, empower yourself, do everything that is fun for you in order to allow the universe to work in the background and just trust that everything will fall into place the way it should. And then we have the man. Because 
everything will fall into place and he will come to you. You will get the man you desire. You will get the love you desire. You will get the partner you desire. You just have to give it some space. You just have to give it some time to unfold in its own rhythm, right? To unfold in the beautiful way that it should unfold. So don't rush things because this person is coming to you and everything will be even better than you could ever imagine. So, and what is the advice? And the advice is slow down. Exactly. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. Perfect. Just perfect. So, yes, slow down. Rest your heart. Rest your mind. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Dream. And create a reality. But in a relaxed way, in a trustful way, in a way that you tell the universe, yes, I know what you're doing and I'm supporting you. So don't try to run against the clock. Don't try to uh, go up the stream, you know, like, and you see the fish here again. So it's beautiful. So a lot of beautiful things are coming your way. A lot of abundance is coming your way. You just have to let it unfold. So slow down, take a deep breath and let life do its job. And this was your reading. I hope it resonates and inspires you. Put this here. Yes. I hope it resonates and inspires you. And thank you so much to all that watch comment and like my videos and also subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me and i wish you a lot of love thank you so much hi everyone who chose pile number two uh, number three i'm sorry pile number three with the black sardine all right so put it here on the front yeah there you go so this is about uh, feelings, actions, and thoughts, and also future energies. But let's start with the present situation. What is the energy? So we have starfish spirit, open to infinite possibility. So your situation right now is open right? So anything can happen, everything can happen, and also advises you to be open in this situation, you know, like dream big because anything can happen and be open to the situation. And um, it's also a sign that both of you are curious about the situation, want to try it out, is something very positive happening now at the moment. And it can also be that the situation was a surprise for both of you and that um, one of you or both weren't expecting to meet the other, right? And suddenly there the person was and now you're just very curious and you want to know what will happen, how is this going to develop? And this is then clarified by the well. Well, the well is about wishes, but it also advises you to go deeper in the situation, to know all the facts, to know what's behind the surface or under the surface, right? And, and it also means that the situation um, calls for work. You have to work in the situation you have in order to make it happen, in order to um, get the results you'd like to in the situation. There's work implied, so you have to develop the situation, you have to invest yourself in the situation. So, as promising as the situation is, um, there is some investment that has to be done. It's not, you know, that easy, it's not that clear now at the beginning. So, this is the present situation. So, Let's see what your thoughts are about the situation. Here we have eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. So, as you know, the eagle flies high and uh, the eagle has very sharp 
eyesight. They can see for miles and very, very sharp. And so the eagle here is also telling you to uh, get the bigger picture. And it's what you're doing now. You're um, getting information. You're getting more information about this person, about the, your situation. And that's why you're here watching this reading. And uh, you want to know more about the possibilities and if the person is single, if uh, the person is really invested in this, if this person is interested. So you're getting the bigger picture. And uh, you're also like thinking about if you should take the risk, if you should get involved in this, or if you should develop the situation even further uh, in case you're already with this person or starting something with this person. And, um, and the eagle also says about taking risks, taking, you know, being bold and uh, taking the step, you know, taking the leap of faith, so to say. And, um, and also in the knowledge that spirit has your back, you're always protected. But still you, want, you should know, you want to know, and you also should know, you know, what is really going on to have the, like I said, the bigger, the bigger picture. And this is then clarified, whoa, is the man. So if you're a woman, that will be the man that you're interested in. If you're a man, this could be the man that you're interested in. Uh, but um, if you are a man and you're interested in a woman, it's like you are considering what are the best options for you. Uh, you're considering what is your best interest, you know, like uh, if this is really good for you. If you are a woman interested in a man or a man interested in a man, then you uh, are getting this information about this person. You are getting all the possible, um, you're researching the person, right? Be it on the internet, social media, or in a, like this oracle readings, you're getting more information about the situation. Either way, if it's a man, man, woman, woman, it doesn't matter. If uh, you're getting more information, more about the masculine side of uh, this partnership right? So let's put it here. Now, what is the, the thoughts of the other person? Now, we have here Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. So this person um, also doesn't have all the information about you and the situation. This person is a bit mystified about the situation and a bit puzzled uh, because, as I said earlier, there with those cards, it could be that this was a big surprise for both of you or for one of you at least. So the other person is a bit surprised about the situation, doesn't, can't not really pinpoint why this interest, why this started. But um, on the other hand, they're not really interested in um, analyzing it, you know, intellectual, intellectualizing it. I don't know if I said it correctly. They're not really interested in it. They're actually accepting the situation for it is. And they're even enjoying it, being it a mystery. They find you also very mysterious. They find you very seducive, seducing, yes, they find you very intriguing, and they like that about you, they, just like they want to understand you, they want to, de to decipher you, you know, to crack the code, so they're really interested, they're really into you, they want to know more about you, and um, they find you intriguing and very, very interesting, and they really enjoy this, and so, and because um, they know so little about the situation and even so little about you, they're still considering, you know, if this should be a path they should go to, if there are other options. And they're also considering if you have other options, you know, if they have other people interested in you. So they're considering all of this because they're very intrigued by the situation and, um, and, you know, you're making them think a lot about the situation itself, about if they really want to get into this situation, and if you have other options as well. And what are you feeling in this situation? We have grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. So 
you are actually very open to the situation. You are ready to take a leap of faith. You, you are considering this, although you don't have all the facts like we just saw, you know, and uh, you actually admire this person a lot as well. There's, I forgot to say this. You admire this person. You find this person very courageous, very bold, and um, very open and intelligent as well, right? And uh, although you don't have all the facts, you're considering this of taking this leap of faith and getting involved in the situation. If you're already starting the situation or involved with this person, you know, getting fully committed, you know, giving your heart fully. And the grasshopper actually advises you to do this, to open up your heart because wondrous things may happen once you open and take a leap of faith, like we saw earlier, right? To take the leap of faith because only then miracles can happen. Only then um, what you want can start to manifest. But this also means, you know, that you're a bit guarded, you're a bit afraid of getting hurt, you know, and your ego gets in the way and starts, you know, playing out or, you know, drawing out all these horrible scenarios that this person is not trustworthy or so on. But you're actually very curious about the situation and you have a good feeling and you want to take this leap of faith. You want to jump in into the situation and to take that risk. Yes. And here we have the, um, the ship. So for some of you, because this is a bit risky and it's really a leap of faith, some of you want to run away, you know, sail away from the situation. That would be like the, the first reaction you would have to, the, to such a situation, right? You just run away. But you're still very curious. You still, you know, like, ah, I should risk it. Others of you, you are feeling very advent adventurous. You just want to sail right in. You just want to jump into the situation and, you know, have other experiences and try your luck. And um, like a pirate, <laughs> you know, I just came to this, uh, this, um, this image, like a pirate, try your luck and sail uncharted waters and see what's happening and face any monsters that can come your way and have beautiful experiences. It's like your heart is feeling this promise of something beautiful is on its way. And it's for all of you, this promise there, your heart is ticking with this promise, something beautiful is on the horizon, but some of you are more afraid than others. And uh, it's okay to be afraid because, of course, it's your heart and the grasshopper is telling you, just go for it. You know, open up your heart and see what happens. Wondrous things may happen. And then we have his, um, their feeling, his or her feelings. And we have the swan spirit. Such a beautiful card. Oh, my God. So beautiful. The swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. So this person has actually very deep feelings for you and they go under the surface they really go deep and they want to discover you also in a very deep level they want to love you in a very deep level this is this person is not a player even if earlier we saw like other options right but he's taking this very seriously right so he won't double time you that's not this kind, he or she, I'm sorry. They won't double time you because that's not the, the kind of person uh, this person is. Um, so they, their feelings run really deep. And they also see you as a very loving person, a very lovable person, a very elegant, beautiful person, right? You stand out no matter where. You just stand out. Even if you're surrounded by Victoria's Secrets models, you will stand out. Believe me, this person will see you first. And, and so this person loves on a very deep level and wants to go deeper and deeper. And here we have the house. So the house here is like this person feel safe with you. This person really feels comfortable with you. And this person would like to 
you know, have a, a sound foundation, start a family with you. This is a family person. They want something safe. They want something secure. They want something with meaning, something that they can rely on. And they also, will, it's a very protective card. I have the feeling here so that they, they're welcoming you in. You see the gate is open and uh, they want to start a family. They, this person really plays for keeps. He's not a player, right? So this person could also feel that they could have a beautiful family with you. They could have a, feel, a beautiful home with you. And so their feelings are very solid. Their feelings are very, very deep and loving and beautiful. So, and how do you act in this situation and towards this person? Then we have the pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. Now, this card says that you're very, very intelligent. And that's how you come across. You come across as more as an intellectual type. Like uh, you love to have wonderful conversations. So when you're with this person, you talk a lot to this person and you're very like intelligent conversation, something that is very interesting to listen to you. It's very interesting to, to talk to you. People have the feeling that when they talk to you, they learn something. They're enriched by your conversation, by your presence. And, um, and you're also very clever, not only clever, like cunning, but, you know, you know how to place yourself, you know what to say, you know, you're very, yeah, I would say clever, although sometimes it sounds negative, but it's not. But you, you know how to present yourself in public, you know how to present yourself to other people in order to um, show yourself in an interesting way. And then we have the key. Now, the key is, of course, about opening or closing, right? Depending where it's um, situated. But here we, this is from, this has two meanings for me. So it will probably resonate more with some of you and the other with others of you. So the one thing is, because I was saying you, you present yourself in a very intelligent way, right? And you're very intellectual, you're very, you're very interesting. And, um, so some of you in this situation um, are playing hard to get. Um, and I don't say that in a negative way. It's actually in a very positive way. So you're, you're not giving the key to your heart just to anyone. So you are acting in a way that the other person has to do some work, right? In order to open your heart, in order to get into your life. So... Some of you are really like being very clever about this, you know, not giving everything away. And that's part of the mystery I was telling you about earlier. And um, and maybe that's the why they, they also think you have other suitors, you have other opportunities, because you're kind of guarded. You're not giving your key to anyone uh, just like that. And you're very protective of your heart. And you see here in the cage, you have a rose that we could now interpret as your heart. And for some others of you, you know, you are giving the key to your heart to this person. That's the way you act. But in a very um, wise manner, you know, it's just, it's just not giving, you away, giving it away like that. But what I have the feeling is that you, you're letting this person know that this person has to deserve it as well, you know? And this is you acting in a wise manner with the big spirit, in a wise manner. So you, the person can have the key to your heart, but they have to prove themselves worthy as well. And how is the other person acting in this situation? We have the chameleon spirit, act as if. Act as if. So it doesn't mean that they're fake and they're trying to pretend to be something they're not. Some of them, they probably they will do that, but not in a malicious way, not with the intent of leading you on. Um, actually, they're doing this in order to make them um, more... Um, 
agreeable to you to make them more like more appealing to you you know uh, they're showing their best colors they're trying to show themselves in a, in a way that they think that would please you but for the most part this would be they're adapting to this situation right because they really don't have a clue about who you really are and what the situation really is and this really intrigues them they they really they really like this so they try to adapt the situation because they feel that this is unfamiliar territory they feel that this is different that from anything they knew before so they're not really sure how to act they're not really sure what to say what to do so they try to adapt as um, best as they can in order not to act uh, insecure or silly in front of you so they try to show their best colors but they're not being fake they're just adapting to the situation right and here we have the garden I call it the garden, but it's actually called the park, but I always call it the garden. Um, and so they ask you on dates, and if they haven't yet, they will. I'm pretty sure of this. And uh, they want to go out with you. They like to go out with you. They like to be seen with you because the, the park is a public space. So it's all about being in the public eye and to be seen, to to see and to be seen. And uh, they like to show themselves to you and they like to be seen with you, you know, um, going out um, on a date or just with friends. They, they like to be around you and they like to be to other people to see you together. And this is also a very outgoing person. This is a person who is actually can also be that it's a person that's very popular and that's a person has many friends and they go out a lot and they enjoy themselves a lot. And, um, and that's probably also how you met. And, um, and one thing that you probably notice about this person, that this person is very adaptable and it seems to be a bit different in different situations. But it's, it's not that they're fake, like I was saying. Like I was saying. It's more they're very um, adaptable. They, they can talk to anyone and they can feel comfortable in any kind of groups uh, or social gatherings. They adapt to all these things, but in a... But I have the feeling this person is very honest, is very clear, you know, is um, and it's very a very uh, pleasing person as well. And what are the future energies? So here we have the bad spirit. A rebirth is assured. Now, the bad spirit is about allowing something to develop. You know, and sometimes something has to die first. And here with a bad spirit, I believe that is something like a behavior to let a behavior go or let your fears go, let your guard down and let something develop, you know, something new, you know, and also willing to take risks because the rebirth is assured. You won't because this card is also a sign that you are probably afraid of losing yourself in a relationship. You're probably afraid of getting lost. And um, and you, also that you have the feeling, again, not only the person you're asking about, but also uh, you are not familiar with the situation. Like this, everything may have come as a surprise, all these feelings, all this um, interaction. And, um, and the bad spirit says things will develop. You just have to be willing to take the risk to let your guard down and have that leap of faith, right? Uh, so the rebirth is assured. So things can develop in a in a very new and exciting way because this is also a card of new beginnings. So it can be a new relationship, and if you're already in a relationship, this can have a new beginning, a rebirth, something even more beautiful than you knew before. So, but you have to let go of old behaviors or old um, hurts even, you know, just have to let go and be reborn so that something new can come. And But this will take place. These are the future energies. So this will take place. And then we have the dice. And the dice, again, is all about taking risks. Be willing to take risks. And 
dice, they don't promise anything, not good or bad, but that they only say that you both will take the risk. You both will take the risk and take a shot at this, you know, be it a new relationship or restarting uh, something, a connection that you already had, or if you're in a relationship to give it, give it another go of passion and love and so on. So um, this will happen, you know, you will take the risk. But if you don't take the risk, the dice also say there are consequences because consequences always come. But what we have here is uh, that a rebirth will happen, a new beginning will happen, a new relationship or a rebirth of a relationship will happen and the risk will be taken. And this will be very, very positive. And the advice card, let's put them here, is show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. This really fits in with the with the reading because as um, we saw earlier, for instance, here, you're very like uh, in your mind when you're uh, with this person, you like you're very intellectual, you're like more in your mind space. You know, if you show off, it will be through your intelligence, through your sharpness. You're very witty. You're also very fun. I forgot to mention this. So you're very funny as well. So maybe you use sarcasm and irony, which I personally love. Um, but, you know, that's not a language for everyone. And not everyone understands the, the language of sarcasm. And they can find it offensive, for instance, you know, if they're not used to it. But uh, but you're very sharp, so you're more, you're more in your mind space. It could also be a way of protecting your heart as well, you know. And the card here says, you know, just show simple acts of kindness. You don't be just in your head. You know, build that bridge to that person, because for that person, you are a mystery. They want something with you. They have deep feelings for you, but they're not really sure how to behave around you, you know, what what would be the best approach or how to communicate more clearly with you. And uh, if you start showing these simple acts of kindness, right, this will bring another energy into the mix because this person already knows you're interesting. This person already knows that you're clever, that you're intelligent, that you're wise, that you're interesting. Now it's time to show kindness to this person so that they know they can you know, approach you or they can take things into the next level. So, and this was your advice. And thank you so much to for watching this. And thank you so much for all that watch, comment and like my videos and also subscribe to my channel. And um, that means a lot to me. And I wish you a lot of love. Thank you so much. Have a great time.